So a lot is basically a lookup table. This is a file that changes the color and tone of your photo. I'm gonna be applying a lot to this portrait right here and show you how it transforms the entire picture. I've got my portrait selected here. We're gonna go on over to edit at the top and then we wanna go to creative and then mood. It's like a home for the lots, if you will. You can choose your own lot. Maybe you downloaded one from the internet that you like, or maybe you created one on your own. If either of those don't apply, that's okay because there's actually LUTs already available for you to use. There's actually really nice ones too. But I have a certain one that I wanna use, so I'm gonna load it by selecting Load Custom LUT File in the drop-down menu. And then we're gonna open this. And as you can see, it applied it right away. And you can also increase the amount that the LUT is applied to the photo. Or if you want it to be a little bit more subtle, you can always just decrease. One thing that gives you a lot of control over this is you can mask out what areas of the LUT you want to be applied to your photo. So let's say you don't want all these colors on her face. Let's say you just want it in the background. What you do is there's a little tool up here. It's a pen tool. So you want to click that. Now that we've selected the mask, you'll have two options. You can either paint in or erase. We wanna start with erase because the LUT has already been applied. So now we're just simply erasing where we don't want the LUT applied to. So grab the eraser brush by clicking this button here. And then all you need to do is just erase. So we don't want the colors applied to her face. So I'm gonna go in and just erase only where her skin is showing. And it's okay if it's not perfect either. You can always go back and adjust. And if for any reason you go out of bounds and you make a mistake like, oh, I accidentally erased too far out, all you gotta do is take the paintbrush and then just mask it back in, just color it back in. There's also different types of masks. You can just do a basic paint mask. You could do a radial brush or you could do a gradient mask. So it gives you a lot of different options. So I'm gonna be using the paint mask today because I can make targeted adjustments this way. And for any reason you want to see the actual mask to see what you erased and what you didn't erase, all you have to do is click on these three dots right here and then select show mask. And you can do it that way too. So you may find yourself wanting to quickly adjust an image and a lot is perfect for that.